Hey everybody, JD Man here. My name's Scott on the uh, Ducati Street Fighter V4 today. Want to talk about something serious? Um, pretty much pertains to Pennsylvania gun owners. So if you live here in PA, uh, pay attention. House Bill 586. House Bill 586 is aiming to, uh, they want the ammo to be serialized. They want, a, they want a serial number on our ammunition. They want it in at least two places, multiple places. And they're saying like the shell casing inside and somewhere on the bullet itself where it won't get uh, you know where it would be readable after hitting the target okay so and if this bill does pass that any old ammo that is not serialized you know we don't that we have needs to be destroyed by December 31st of this year okay so basically guys you know that that's gun control because what company is going to make special ammo for just Pennsylvania none okay none and gun control advocates may say well if you're not doing anything wrong, what do you care? Well, I care because, you know, I don't want someone, you know, somehow, which shouldn't happen, you know, getting a hold of ammo that is serialized to my name. You know, you'd have to be doing it. They'd probably require an inventory every freaking month or whatever, you know? And you'd have to do, you'd, you'd need to account for every round that you have. So, you know, I'm sorry, but the Second Amendment says shall not be infringed. All these gun control laws, as far as I'm concerned, are unconstitutional. You know, the, the Bill of Rights, the first ten amendments, they were done in order of importance first amendment freedom of speech freedom of the press you know you have to be able to speak truth to power to the government without having to worry about facing any consequences you know you need to be able to voice your opinion about what's being done in your government without fearing for retribution okay freedom of the press that the press can report on any corruption or anything without worrying about disappearing and then the second thing second amendment was uh you know the right to, to bear arms okay and anybody says about you know you don't need these guns for hunting well that's not what we were given that right for the Founding Fathers just spent how many years fighting a war for freedom, okay? And the first thing on their mind was, oh, geez, I need gu guns to go hunting. No, it was to protect that one freedom that so many died and so many lost their fortunes, you know, gave up their fortunes, whatever. Families were split, you know, because you had, you know, just like now things are so polarized you got people that uh, you know families that if you vote this way or you vote that way and you know and friends and that and the people don't talk to each other anymore that's how bad it's gone that uh, you know it, it, it's not there to go hunting and it doesn't say anything about certain types of guns it's just the right to keep them bare arms you know that's and it's to protect, it says, to protect against a tyrannical government. 
because they just fought a tyrant <laughs> okay so yeah so if you live in PA you need to call your representatives state reps state senators whatever I already did I let them know hey no not not cool not you know <laughs> not gonna happen they're just they're 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 you know if they can't take the guns they'll try and take the ammo any any you know to make the guns useless and you got to be wise to that so you know usually i i don't ever get into anything political but this in my mind this isn't political this is you know this is a freedom this is a god-given right that we have in this country that the government cannot take away from us so all right i'm gonna get off my soapbox and please remember contact your representatives here in pa and if you live in another state you need to be paying attention to this because it, once one state does it you know there's going to be others following and uh i just hope it doesn't get to that point so yeah my name's scott channels jd man i really appreciate you watching and uh stay tuned for more content